so today i am going to discuss uh, i am going to explain you uh, subsidiary books see what is the first step in the accounting process journal journal is the, journal is the first step isn't it yes and after journal we maintain what ledger got it this is the first step and ledger is the second stage got it and see journal we maintain where who maintains the journal a small businessman in the small business in a small business but the if the uh, scale of the business is large then in place of journal we will not maintain journal we will maintain subsidiary books subsidiary books means not one journal maintaining more journals this journal means only only one journal and subsidiary books see it is not book it, it is actually books books means more than one journal got it or not so see which uh, which books we will maintain which journals we will maintain so first we will maintain cash book then purchase journal then sales journal and then uh, purchase return journal then sales return journal and at last we will maintain a journal journal okay so these are the subsidiary book so the final conclusion is what that in a large business where the scale of business is large in that type of business we will not maintain journal instead of maintaining one journal we will maintain how many journals five journals and these journals are collectively known as what subsidiary books so today i am going to explain you about the cash book what is cash book what is the format of cash book and how to record transactions in the cash book okay okay so today i am going to explain you this cash book yeah now see what is cash so first i will explain you the different type of cash book. so see cash book is of four types one two three four types so first is what simple cash book S simple cash book and second is what two column cash book two column cash book and the third is what three column cash book three column cash book petty cash book petty cash book yeah see the, there are four types of cash book the topic is what cash book and there are four types of cash book simple cash book two column cash book three column cash book and the petty cash book we will we will we will discuss a two column cash book three column cash book and then we will discuss petty cash book. and if we know how to prepare two column cash book it means we can easily prepare simple cash book we do not need to discuss separately so so today i am going to explain you two column cash book and three column cash book these two points we will cover now cash book so the name is sufficient in cash book we will record which transactions only cash transactions okay we will not record credit transactions credit transactions we will not record credit transactions we will not record we will record only which transactions cash transactions so we will maintain cash book and in cash book we will record only cash transactions we will not record credit transactions got it or not and the person who will maintain the cash book that person is known as what cashier that the the person who maintain the cash book that person is known as what cashier so in cash book we will record only cash transactions we will not record credit transactions and the person who maintain the cash book that person is called what cashier so now i am going to explain you uh, how to maintain two column cash book okay so see the format of two column cash book this is the format of two column cash book yeah this is the format uh, this is the debit side this one is the debit this one is the debit side of cash book and this one is the credit side agree yeah and cash book and for which month we are preparing that month we are to write here in this column cash book for the month of which month yeah now see on the debit side how many columns are there first column is for date then details then folio number then cash transactions and banking transactions okay so this is this is the debit side and from here to here credit side date de details folio number cash transaction and banking transactions got it 
This is actually like a cash account, cash and bank account actually. The format of cash book is like a you know cash account and bank account in the ledger. Got it or not? Yeah. And if we maintain two column cash book, then we do not need to open cash account and bank account in the ledger. Now see how to record uh, tr cash transactions. Cash uh, cash transaction means cash and banking transactions. So we will take one question and uh, with the help of that question we will understand so this is our question yeah this is the transaction this is the instruction this is the question enter the following transactions in the cash book of mr john mr john is the owner mr john is the uh, proprietor of the business and during the month of january th th these are the cash transactions and now these cash transactions we are to record in the cash book okay now tell me which one is the first transaction dollar yeah we started the business we commenced the business so now see this is the cash transaction okay and uh, this cash cash transactions now we will record in this cash book now see first what what i will do so see first i will write uh, the heading cash book for the month of for which month we are going to prepare this cash book for the month of january 2013 this is the debit side and this one is the credit side yeah now see our first transaction is which one commenced the business with cash this is our first transaction now see how i will record this so first you make the entry what is the entry for this transaction the entry for this transaction is what cash account debit dollar 10000 and capital account credit isn't it yeah this is the entry now tell me in this entry cash account debited or credited cash account is debited na yeah so this transaction will be recorded on the debit side we have to see uh, while deciding the side that uh, the transaction will be recorded on the debit side or on the credit side so we have to see the uh, cash cash and bank see in the entry cash account debited now so it this transaction this transaction will be recorded on the debit side yeah cash account debited and what is the amount 10000 yeah cash account debited now so on the debit side see what i will do on the debit side i first i will write the amount in the cash column because cash account debited so 10000 okay and then in, in column for detail i will write the name of the opposite account and that is capital and in column for date write down the date and the date is january 1st now see the next transaction which is our next transaction okay so tell me when we purchase goods the cash will be in flow or out flow in, from the business goes out so see what entry you will pass tell me cash gone so so see the, see the entry purchase yeah purchase account will be debited and cash account will be credited and what is the what is the amount uh, 2000 isn't it yeah so this this entry i will pass with dollar 2000 okay now tell me in the entry cash account debited or credited Credited, so the this entry I will record on the credit side because cash account credited now. So on the credit side in the column for cash I will record this dollar two thousand, and in column for detail I will write the name of the opposite account, and the name of the opposite account is purchase, and Jan and we will write the date January five. Now see the next transaction. Yeah, our next transaction is which one? Tell me. See wages is expense. So we will debit the wages with dollar three hundred and cash gone now. So we will credit the cash account. Yeah. So we will credit the cash account and dollar three hundred. Understood? Now tell me cash account debited or credited? So this transaction I will record on the credit side. So on the credit side in cash column, first write down the amount three hundred. Isn't isn't it dollar three hundred? And then write down the name of the opposite account and the name of the opposite account is wages and then put the date and the date is january 7 so so one thing you notice that oh, whenever we receive cash whenever there is cash inflow we will record that uh, transaction in the debit side and whenever there is cash payment then that transaction will record on the credit side so so what is the conclusion that all receipts we are to record on the debit side and all payments we are to record on the credit side now now see the next transaction now yeah now tell me there is cash inflow or outflow when we sell the goods we will receive no money it will be recorded yeah on the debit side so what entry first record the entry 
this is rough work actually so cash account will be debited and we will credit the sales account as we are selling the goods and what is the amount amount is i think 800 dollar yes and what is the date january 9 so dollar yeah so dollar 800 now tell me in the entry cash account debited so on the debit side in cash column because cash debited now so that's why in cash column i will write the amount dollar 800 and in column for but in column for detail i will write the name of the opposite account that is sales and in column for date i will write the date january 9 now see the next transaction yeah so january 12 and we opened a current account into a bank with dollar 2000 okay now see what entry we will pass money gone now because we opened a current account into a bank so we paid money to the bank so cash gone so cash account will be credited and cash gone where into the bank into the bank and bank is personal account so debit the receiver now see this transaction we will record on both the sides on the debit side as well as on the credit side and this transaction is called what contra entry yeah contra contra means uh, uh, we are recording the transaction on both the side now tell me in the entry bank account debited or credited yeah so in the debit side bank account debited so on the debit side in bank column write down the amount first and here in in column for folio you write down c c stands for contra and write write down the name of the opposite account and the opposite to bank is which account cash account and put that put the date is january 12th yeah now we have to make entry in the cash account we have to record this transaction in cash account now tell me cash account debited or credited so on the credit side so on the credit side in cash column cash account credited now credited that's why on the credit side and cash account credited so that's why in the cash column I write down the amount dollar 2000 and write down the name of the opposite account and opposite to cash is which account cash account okay no sorry bank account and here write down c c means contra entry and put the date january 12 so this is the transaction which is recorded on both the sides that's why this such transaction is called the recording of such transaction is called what contra entry so wherever whenever you find in any entry there is cash and bank it means that is contra entry and that entry will be recorded on the both the sides of the cash book now see the next transaction by check 500 yeah now see first we will we will pass entry and we paid salary salary is expense so it will be debited dollar five and and we paid this salary by check isn't it so payment will be done by through our account so bank so credit the giver so bank account credited okay and january 15 understood or not now tell me in this entry uh, bank account debited or credited bank account credited now so on the credit side in bank column why credit side because bank is credited okay and why I, I, I will write the amount in bank column because this is bank account so on the credit side in bank column I will write the amount dollar 500 and in front of this I will write the name of the opposite account that is salary january january 15 now see the next transaction which is our next transaction see our next transaction yeah so we have withdrawn money and we withdrawn money from bank and for personal use and the amount is dollar 100 and this transaction took place on january 25th so see what entry i will pass on january 25th there is drawings now owner took away Owner, yeah, owner took away the money. So drawings account. This is the owner's account actually. Debit the receiver. He is receiving the money, and this money gone from where? From the account. So credit the bank account is also a personal account. So debit the receiver. Credit the giver. Now tell me in the entry bank account debited or credited? Not should be. I am asking bank account is debited or credited. The, this is the entry I passed. Bank credited now. So on the credit side in bank column first I will write down the amount dollar hundred. First I will write down the amount dollar hundred and in front of this I will write the name of the opposite account that is drawings. Yeah, now see the next transaction. Yeah, we have deposited this amount into the bank. Five hundred dollar on January thirty. So what entry will pass? So we deposited money, so it means cash gone. So cash account will be credited dollar five hundred and cash gone where? In the bank. 
so debit the receiver so bank account will be debited dollar 500 and this transaction took place when on january 30 now tell me in this entry again there is bank and cash isn't it so this transaction will be recorded on the both the side of the cash book and that's why this entry is called what contra entry now see bank account so first i will record this entry in the bank so bank account debited or credited debited na so on the debit side in bank column 500 and i will write here cash name of the opposite account and january 30 and write down here c contra entry now uh, re recording done in bank account now i have to record the same transaction in the cash account now cash account debited or credited it is credited so on the credit side in cash column on the credit side and in cash column i will write the amount 500 and in column for detail i will write the name of the opposite account that is bank okay january 30 done so and write down here contra entry this is contra entry so the recording is over so understood how to record transactions